So one of the best ways you can lower your score without changing your golf swing in any way, shape or form is to actually start making better on course decisions. So here's a classic example. I've got a shot of around 80 yards, sort of 72 meters, something like that. And the pin is in the middle of the green. If we look at what is left of the flag, there, there are two bunkers. You can only see one from here, but there are two. There's one that's about 15 yards short of the green. There's another bunker tucked in behind that. And if I aim at the flag stick and I hit a little bit of a pull shot, I'm probably going to end up in those bunkers. Now that's fine for me as a golf pro. I love bunkers, I'm not scared of them. But if you're an average golfer and you really struggle to get out of bunkers, you don't really want to be in that bunker. Now, if we look at the other side of the green, it's got a little bit of a downslope to the right, but if, if I miss the green to the right, I can probably putt from that location and get it on the green, and it's a much easier shot to be faced with than a bunker shot. If we also look at how many strokes it takes the average golfer to get from here into the hole from 80 yards, it's about four and a half strokes, and that may surprise you, but from 80 yards, it's four and a half strokes. So if we can get the ball onto the putting surface and two putt, we're going to beat most of our amateur playing partners. And really you think, well, that's not that hard. It's only 80 yards away. But if I choose a better target, I'm gonna help with that. So what do I mean by choosing a better target? If I forget the flag stick and I work on about two more flag sticks to the right, I could go even a little bit further. If I hit it straight, I'm on the green. If I push it a little bit, I'm either on the green or I'm just off it. And as I said, it's not too difficult to shot from there. You can putt. Even if you get down in four from here, you're still ahead of the average. But I like to choose that target out to the right because even if I pull it a little bit, I'm, there's plenty of room there for me to stay on the green. But if I aim it at the flag stick and pull it, it's a bad, bad result. So I'm going to play this one. So I've just got my pitching wedge here. I'm just swinging it nice and easy. Not trying to overplay the shot. I'm looking probably three flag sticks to the right. And I've pulled that just a fraction. My playing partners are saying, oh, good shot, Brian, because I finished about a flag stick, maybe a fraction further right than that, but it's about a flag, flag and a half to the right. It's pin high, so it's the right distance. They're all saying great shot. But where was I aiming? I was aiming further right than that, but I pulled it a fraction. I'm not telling them I pulled it, but because I chose the right target, I've got a good result. If I had have hit it at the flag, and pulled it by the same amount, I could very well be in one of those greenside bunkers. If I'm in the greenside bunkers and I struggle out of bunkers, I won't be getting the ball down in four and a half shots from here. It'll be more like five or six. So just by choosing a more conservative target, you're putting the odds more in your favor. So that's a simple thing you can do. No swing change at all. Just choose a better target. It's definitely going to lower your score. If you want to lower your score, I'm going to put a link to another video just there that I know is going to help improve your score.